She ran up when it was seven, and you know we have to do what's good for our party. And she was up, and I said, "Wow, she's doing uh, like a speech, like she won. She didn't win; she lost." And you know, last last week we had a little bit of a problem. And if you remember, Ron was very upset because she ran up and she pretended she won Iowa. And I looked around. I said, "Didn't she come in third? Yeah, she came in third." And then I looked at the polls. She was talking about most winability. Who's going to win? And I had one put up. I don't know if you see it, but I have one put up. We've won almost every single poll in the last three months against Crooked Joe Biden. Almost every poll. And she doesn't win those polls. And she doesn't win those. This is not your typical victory speech. But let's not have somebody take a victory. When she had a very bad night, she had a very bad night, and you uh, you have the you have the very the now very unpopular governor of this state. This guy, he's got to be on something. I've never seen anybody with energy. It's like uh, hopscotch, and uh, you know I'm, I'm watching this guy. And two weeks ago, I said we're going to win. We're going to win in the last side. We're going to win. About three days ago, so I said, well, we want to do well. That's a big difference, but I walked out just now. We're 14 points up, and I don't know what it's going to be. But when she was up here, it was like six or seven, and you know, with like seven percent of the vote counted. Now, uh, let let me just tell you, uh, we uh, we had an unbelievable week last week in Iowa. We set a record. It was the best in the history of the caucus in the history, and uh, I remember I sort of had the same feeling. I'm up and I'm watching, and I said she's taking a victory lap, and we we beat her so badly she was. But Ron beat her also. You know, Ron came in second and he left. She came in third and she's still hanging around. The other thing, she only got 25 percent of the Republican votes. I don't know if you saw that. Tremendous numbers of independents came out because in this state, because you have a governor that doesn't frankly know what the hell he's doing in this state. In the Republican primary, they accept Democrats to vote. In fact, I think they had 4,000 Democrats, Democrats before October 6. They already voted. Now they're only voting because they want to make me look as bad as possible. Because if you remember, we won in 2016, and if you really remember, if you want to play it straight, we also won in 2020 by more. And we did much better in 2020 than we did in 2016. But as they said, we lost by a whisker, just by a whisker. No, no, no. But we can't let that happen. You know, you have to have people that speak up. I said, I can go up and I can say to everybody, "Oh, thank you for the victory. It's wonderful." It's what, or I can go up and say, "Who the hell was the imposter that went up on the stage before?" And like claimed a victory, she did very poorly. Actually, she had to win. The governor said she's going to win. She's going to win. She's going to win. Then she she failed badly. Now I have here if he promises to do, to do it in a minute or less. But the only person more angry than let's say me, but I don't get too angry. I get even. The only person. The only per because he was there. And he did fantastically well, by the way, and then he endorsed me. And we don't have to talk about Tim Scott, who, by the way, just got engaged. We have to tell you. And that's more important than all of this stuff. But a man that got to know her very well is Vivek. I said Vivek. I said Vivek. Go up and say a few words about it. He has to do it in one minute or less, and then we're going to just say we had one hell of a night tonight. But one other thing before the vet comes, do you see that poll? We're going to put it up. We have beaten Biden. You could almost say, who can't? Who the hell can't? The man can't put two sentences together. He can't find the stairs off the stage. Who can't? But. Vivek, one minute or less. Go do it, Vivek. What we saw tonight is 
America first, defeating America last. That's what we saw tonight. If you want America last, you can go to Joe Biden. You got another candidate still apparently in the Republican primary. Cut your Social Security to fork over more money to Ukraine so some kleptocrat can buy a bigger house. Go to Nikki Haley. But you know who delivered a double-digit victory tonight? It is a double-digit victory as of right now. Is this man Donald J. Trump, the leader of America first? And that means something. Now... USA and Donald Trump, America first. Now I got I got 30 seconds left. I want to make this point here, okay? We gotta say this, we gotta say this right. What we see right now with her continuing in this race is the ugly underbelly of American politics. Where the mega donors are trying to do one thing when we the people say another. And it's up to us to we the people to at long last say, hell no, we the people create a government that is accountable to us, and we the people have said tonight we want again, as we did in Iowa. Donald J. Trump. And so you want to actually speak truth. That's the truth tonight. And the only thing they're rooting for is an ugly thing that we don't want to see happen. That's what these people are rooting for is playing to say long enough so the Reed Hoffmans and the ugly Democratic George Soros Juniors who are funding the lawsuits against Trump can prop up their puppet. We say no to that vision. I say the general election begins tonight and this man will win it in a landslide. God bless you, Donald J. Trump. Vote Trump USA.